It was because I did not have any insurance. It was because I had not made a will. Having extracted from me during her expertly polished patter the fact that I had the son, she pointed out that such things were important. I replied to her that I did not have anything to insure, and that being the case, that I had nothing that I could leave. I did not, for instance, even own a house in which to put such notional riches. She smiled at me that smile that is only ever witnessed in these palaces of financial services, or in the Olympic pool during the synchronised swimming. Raising one immaculately pencilled brow, she has intimated that within a few years a state pension will not be an option for a sensible person. She left a silence for this earth-shattering knowledge to sink in, and in the future I may own a house. The future. Well, she and I know, unless the words that I am reading to you now are one day discussed by Kirsty Rock on BBC Two, <laughs> I am unlikely to have what the English apparently dream of as soon as we do. A castle in the sky to put all those things in. <laughs> those things that matter so much to the synchronised splashes in the shark pool, and the ones that want to be them. She is talking again, but all I can hear are the ominous cellos of austerity. Thank you.